What's happening everyone? Welcome on back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here, for clicking on the video. I don't know why I always open the video like I just had the best bite of chicken, but that's what I did. Uh, so we're moving on in uh, Ghost in the Machine, Police. We're going to move on into the next track, Demolition Man. Isn't Demolition Man a movie starring um, uh, Sylvester Stallone and uh, Blade Wesley Snipes? Isn't that Demolition Man? Is this song about that movie? <laughs> Was this part of like a soundtrack? The Demolition Man. There you go. I never saw the whole movie. I just remember the, um, uh, was it like the, the profanity machine or whatever it was that kept on finding him for cursing? That was hilarious. Anyways, let's go ahead and give a listen to the song. We'll talk about it after. Let's go. I like that snare pop off. I like how Summers comes in and gets her just in the second line for half of the months. Almost blues. That's everything to the fire.
see, I like how Stuart plays around like in these little sections here. Keeps the groove going, but plays. <laughs> okay, Demolition Man, the best thing about that track is Summer's guitar, which I really enjoy, especially during the verses where he's kind of, you know, playing off of the back end of Sting's vocals. I, I like the interjections that he puts in with the guitar, I like his tone, and then the little bit of the solo in the first half of the ending of the track, I did enjoy that. And then, especially in the ending, Stuart's drumming. Uh, he's always one for detailing, he's always one for keeping the rhythm going, especially in music like this, and yet inserting that personality, inserting those, those mm, delightful fills and thrills, whether he's dancing on the hi-hats or skittery scattering on the snares. He's, he's always doing something extra in there to really bring the music alive. And during the ending of the track, you can clearly hear him beginning to play around in there, beginning to dance around in that, uh, around the drum set. I really enjoyed that. That was the best part of the song. To be honest, I, I was a little bored listening to this track. Uh, it, I was... I was bored kind of like early on, <laughs> to be honest. Like about two minutes in, I'm like, okay, it's kind of samey, but maybe the break will save us. And I enjoyed a little bit of, a, of the break, but it didn't like change really anything. You know, like I said, I enjoyed Summers in there and I, I definitely enjoyed Stewart and what he's doing in there, but it didn't, it, it didn't uh, bring enough to the table to really make me like, oh, I really love what they were doing so much that I love this track. Off of a first listen, I think that this is a kind of boring track, if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, it just sounds like paint by numbers police. Like we, we've heard this before. This isn't anything different. It's not really anything new. Uh, I'm sure it's a fun celebratory live track, but studio cut, it doesn't, it doesn't quite cut it. Tied to the tracks and the train's just coming, strapped to the wing with the engine running. You say that this wasn't in your plan, don't mess around with the demolition man. Tied to a chair and the bomb is ticking, this situation was not of your picking. You say that this wasn't in your plan, don't mess around with the, well, I guess if you mess around with the Demolition Man, whatever that may be, you might find yourself strapped to a chair uh, <laughs> with a ticking, ticking, ticking time bomb going on. I'm a walking nightmare, an arsenal of doom. I can kill conversation as I walk into the room. I'm a three-line whip. I'm the sort of thing they ban. I'm a walking disaster. I'm the Demolition Man. I don't, I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> you come to me like a moth to the flame. It's love you need, but I don't play that game because you could be my greatest fan, but I'm nobody's friend. I'm Demolition Man. Okay. Well, you're not, you're not a great person to be around. Sounds like you're kind of toxic. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> it says that uh, this song is about a man who is, walking, who is a walking wasteland, causing disaster wherever he goes. Originally written by Sting and recorded by Grace Jones, it would later receive a version by his band, The Police. I guess that's what we listen to right now. Uh, obviously, because we didn't hear a solo version by Sting, and I guess with Grace Jones uh, singing. Uh, as well as a solo remake for the 1993 movie. Uh, okay, so they, so I guess they remade the song for the movie as well. Cool. Uh, anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the track. The movie's better than that. Let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments down below. You can follow me over on Twitter. Support the channel and what I do on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great day, guys. Bye.